Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ontario A Championships Men's Singles Finals. We are at set number two in this matchup between Neil Yakura on the far side of the court and Nathan Lee on the near side of the court. And for those of you who did not get a chance to check out the first set, uh, it's available on, on this channel, the UL Meatball channel. And uh, I definitely encourage you guys to check it out because it's kind of dumb to, you know, start watching a badminton matchup halfway through the match. But anyway, I'm going to spoil it for you guys if you guys, uh, you know, kind of refuse to watch the first set. Anyway, uh, the first set was taken by Nil Yakura, 21-15. And even though the scoreboard shows that, you know, he was, you know, six points ahead at the end of the first set. Uh, the game, the, the the first set was actually a lot tighter than, than what the uh, scoreboard suggested because throughout the entire, uh, well, I, I think up until up until they hit the score of 14 all, uh, Nathan Lee was actually leading uh, for pretty much the entire set, and it was only during the latter part of the first game that uh, Nilia uh stepped it up. Um, and and was able to finish uh, finish the game uh, very convincingly, mind you. Uh, during that latter part of the first set, Nathan Lee, uh, yeah, he he was uh, I think maybe maybe he was tired, but you know there was there seemed like a slight lack of concentration near the near the end, which led to kind of a runaway with uh, Nelly Kuro's points. But as we get started on the second set, uh, Neil Yakura continuing on with his, I guess, strategy to get a lot of points because he's up 3-1, but not anymore because uh, it seems like Neil, I mean, uh, Nathan Lee is starting to smash quite a bit more, and the smashes are starting to work quite effectively because even though, you know, uh, Neil Yakura has, you know, has been able to defend against most of these smashes. Uh, a lot of the, uh, the deep, uh, defensive shots that Neil Yakura makes has been, uh, well, not as tight as you you want him to be, and uh, and the lifts uh, lifts against Nathan Lee's smashes aren't as uh, far to the back court as you really expect them to be. And there you go, another example of. Nathan Lee uh, using the smash to his advantage and Neil Yakur really not having any answer to that trying to d do one of those behind the back trick shots but failing miserably oh no as we hit a score of 3 all neither player has an advantage right now well if you discount the fact that Neil Yakur won the first set neither player in the second set has an advantage right now and I guess they're gonna go ahead and uh, test out some new birdies as I guess they did not manage to do that at the beginning of the match. So as they test out these new birdies here, um, for those of you, yeah, I, I guess uh, there there are some people who might be watching uh, watching this match because of the women's singles in the background, and. Wow, the first set uh, of the women's singles was very, very lopsided. Uh, I'm not 100% sure of the scoreboard, but I remember Bethany so being uh, the the one the girl in the red shirt in the far, far side of the game uh, was able to go into the first set mid-game interval up 11-1. Uh, I think the the uh, the game. You know, uh, I think Tracy Wong, uh, her opponent, got a few more points near, near the end. Oh, the splits right there by Bethany So That is awesome, and the crowd is applauding. So uh, that's really cool. Um, anyway, yeah, the, the latter part of that first set uh, for the women's singles was uh, a little bit better. Um, Tracy Wong got a few more points, but it was still a pretty lopsided game. Um, the second game by the women's single so far seems like it's a little bit closer so it should be pretty fun to watch for those of you who are interested in watching um, and, well back to the men's singles there you go uh, Nathan Lee try, uh, trying his, uh, to use the smashes a little bit better wow the dive from Neil Yakura save, saving the points and if he could win this point that'd be really amazing wow this is this is an excellent rally right now Oh my goodness, wow, Nathan Lee is 
furious for losing that point. First, he got, he he had New Yakura on the ground after that dive, couldn't finish off the rally, and second second chance to smash from the front of the court and totally whiffed on it. So, wow. And wow, Nathan Lee was absolutely furious. He threw he threw his racket all the way to to the back of the gym. Uh, luckily, it's not broken, so he gets to continue on playing. But we're gonna have to see, you know, whether that actually affects his game. Because usually, when when you lose uh, very tough rallies like that and very long rallies like that, um, you kind of you, you, you kind of well, your your focus kind of uh, strays a little bit. But so far, winning the winning the very next point is has definitely got to help. And again, Nathan Lee with his almost trademark super slow movement in between rallies to to serve at four five. There you go. Finally, being able to finish off one of those easy ones, uh, making up for the very costly mistake that 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 he had a couple of rallies ago to tie it up at. 5 all and wow <laughs> that's all I can really say because neither player really wants to give give anything right now and both players seems to be seem to have turned it up to or well, turned up their play level to as as high as you can possibly imagine there you go using the loopy net shot once again as I explained in the first set uh, to great effect forcing the lift and yet another loopy net shot forcing the lift. So, so definitely, definitely at this level, those loopy net shots are actually really, uh, a really good strategy to use to 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 try to gain the advantage and, and force the lift from your opponent. And still, nothing separating these two players right now at six all. This is an absolute nail biter. And again, using the smash to oh, uh, a little bit. Just a little bit off, Neo Yakura, and back to the slow motion movement of Nathan Lee in between rallies. Both of them have got to be tired right now because there has been a series of very very long rallies. And what? And again, one of the really great things about you know these matchups is that there there are no you know strategical timeouts or uh, or anything in the you know during the game unless you you've hit the mid game. Well, the only the only time you get to rest is during the mid game interval and after the set. So, you know, even though these players are tired, you can't really do anything about it, and you just got to keep on pressing on. Unlike what you normally see in the international tournaments. And these two players, they just seem like they're trading points right now. First it was five all, then it was six all, and now it's seven all. None of them want to give anything away. Except for I guess that shot right there, where it was uh, well, it was a little bit of a lazy lift, and Nathan Lee really having to pay for it, going down one uh, eight seven right now. <laughs> that was a little roundhouse, <laughs> roundhouse, I guess backhand clear right there. Uh, Let's see if he could. No, nope, no, uh, definitely. Uh, it looks like Nathan's a little bit more tired than Noya is. First of all, first with that <laughs> weird roundhouse backhand, and then followed up by a lazy net shot where Noya was just hunting right in the front and being able to close that get, uh, close that point off very easily. Great defense by Noya right there. Again with the dive. Oh my God! Both. Players on the ground and Nathan Lee on the other side of the courts. <laughs> I can't believe what's going on right now because you don't see, you don't usually see this type of play in any any singles match, and you can tell that both of them really want every single point they can get in this set. This this truly is, you know, the blah 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 blah. That's my answer to that um, sentence. But anyway, wow, Nathan Lee being pushed around the court and really not able to do anything about it. And as we head towards the mid-game interval, it's 11-7 for Amelia Kura. Nathan Lee looking like he's extremely exhausted right now. He's really gonna have to do something quick 
to regain his energy, drink some Gatorade or something to come back in this matchup. Luckily, he has the the full, I guess, minute or two during the mid-game interval to to recuperate and try to you know catch catch his breath. As we can see that Nilyakur is already ready to serve. So 11-7, Nilyakur is serving. Well, a little nifty little flick that didn't turn out too well, uh, giving Nilyakur uh, well, no is still with a 3-point lead at 11-8. And now Nathan serving. See, he's going to have to really try to win this next rally and well, almost being able to do it. But again, Nilyakur with a really good defense. Yeah, Nilyakura also, you know, mounting mounting his side of the attack. And Nathan Lee looks like he's absolutely worn out from the second set. He's he's you can tell that he's breathing hard and you know he's walking to the end of the courts, you know, in between rallies to to try to to try to regain some energy, catch his breath and try to keep up in these rallies. And you know he, you know, if he needs to uh, catch his breath, he really needs to do it soon, because he's seven points. Uh, yeah, seven points away from losing this final. There you go. Pumped up for this next rally right here, being able to smash right through Nilyakura's defense. And even though he, you know, Nilyakura has been able to defend uh, most of the time, you know, that time he wasn't able to to get a racket on it. And well, <laughs> another one of those weird, uh, weird backhands from Nathan Lee. But you know, he's de he's definitely, I guess his game plan right now is try to attack as much as possible, uh, Nathan Lee. Um, and. Whether that's going to be effective or not, we're going to have to, or it's going to take another few points for us to be able to tell. And you're kind of giving, giving up that easy smash right there. And Nathan Lee has got to be pumped up to, to be given that, that kind of a chance right now. Still down by 5 points, serving 10-15 right now though. And now down by 4 points, so slowly catching up. And I bet you he's trying to pump himself up right now. Well, we, we kind of skipped a little bit uh, just because uh, it was at, at the 12 and a half minute mark and my camera would uh, kind of automatically stop recording until I manually start recording again. But anyway, at 16, 12, or 13, or 13, 16 now, Nathan Lee serving. Uh, catching up slowly but surely with a three point deficit. Now a two point deficit. Again, that body smash working pretty well I, I assume for uh, Nathan Lee so this is this is coming down to the wire again forcing the smash Nathan, uh, Nathan Lee really really forcing the attack oh wow another dive by Nilyakura he seems to be diving everywhere you know throughout this entire set I think that's his third dive of this set and all, the, the cool thing is, all three times he dove, he was able to recover so well. And now, winning that rally as well, so that dive really paid off. And you usually don't, you know, don't say that at this level of play. Well, both players really, really trying to attack whenever they have the chance right now. Trying to finish off this uh, this set. I bet you both of them are extremely tired after s so many long rallies and so many attacks. But, wow, really pumped up. Nathan Lee, still two points behind, but at 15-17, he's definitely, he definitely sees the opportunity to win or to take this match, to catch up, or to at least catch up and take this match near the end. He's still got uh, six points to go before before the end, or before he reaches 21, assuming we don't hit extra points. So, and uh, yeah, another easy point. Uh, and, uh, you know, a few mistakes creeping up by Nilyakura right now. 
giving Nathan Lee the opportunity to catch up. And Nathan Lee is definitely taking advantage of every opportunity that Mill is giving him. 16-17 Nathan serving. Oh my goodness. Uh, the opportunity is slowly leaving as he makes that very critical mistake in one of those very critical rallies that you really wanted him to win. And a second one into the net, two in a row. He's got to be feeling really frustrated right now because the opportunity for him, for him to come back in the set is, well, quickly going away. Again, the use of the droopy net shot, or the loopy net shot, leading to a, a short lift and being able to win that rally. And at 17-19, you gotta think that Nathan Lee has got to dig deep for the next few rallies or so in order to come back in this. And you really hope that he does come back to, to bring this to a third and deciding set. And wow, that was a close one. 18-19, it can't get closer than this. Nathan Lee serving. Good setup, and nope, unable to finish. Oh my goodness. He was in control of that rally, got that, got that high return after the smash, and couldn't do anything about it, making the careless error into the net. He's been doing those uh, net shots all day long against Noe Yakura to, to great effect. But finally, you know, probably being too tired. That was dive number four from Noe Yakura. And wow, running to the back of the court, trying to save it. But Nathan Lee covering the front of the net and pumped up at 20, 19. Nathan Lee serving at 19, one point down. And one more point before he takes it to extra points. So we're going to see whether he has the energy to continue with this, I guess, pursuit to catch up and possibly take this uh, second set. Both of them are in high gear right now. Oh my goodness. And the body shot yet again. And Nathan Lee is completely pumped up right now. He's no longer Master Splinter. He is Raphael, always coming back at the end of... You know, I, I'm referring back to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, where Raphael always gets mad or or leaves, you know, midway through midway through an episode and comes back with a vengeance. And that's what Nathan Lee is doing right now, coming back with a vengeance, tying it up at 20 all, and looking like he's he's really wanting to finish this one off. And now with game points. Coming back from, I think it was six points down near uh, near the mid uh, middle of the set, and now one point ahead, and only needing one more point to finish off this set. Big smash! Oh my God! Just a little bit out. Ah, uh, you could only feel bad for him because he was inches away from taking off uh, taking the second set, and now it's tied up again at 21 all. Big smash again, oh my god, first it was high and out, and now it's into the net. Oh my goodness. You can definitely tell that he's definitely trying, because he's going for the big smashes, trying to end the rallies. But in both cases, his smashes have let him down. And now no Yakura with match points. Short lift right here. Oh, can't, can't defend against that. No Yakura taking this Ontario A Championships men's singles first set 21-15 second set 23-21 congratulations